Today I'm taking a look at a new range of BBs called the Draft Club. It's coming up. I guess Mike from Press off to Con. Thanks for watching Draft Club BBs. Uh, we sent these uh, end of November last year to do some testing on. Three months, last three months I've been putting them through the paces, doing some testing. Um, and I've got to say, I am very impressed with them, uh, especially given the price tag that comes with them. Uh, I compared them uh, with uh, Aries Amoeba uh, Precision Grade 2.5s and Devil Blaster 2.5s. And in terms of price wise, they are the cheapest of the three. Uh, the Amoeba Precision for 3,000, they come in 4,000 bags, but they worked out nine pound ish for um, uh, 3,000. The Devil Blasters came in at. I think they're 895. You can get them online at the moment for uh, for a th bottle of 3,000. And at the moment, the Draft Club they're coming at six pound on the uh, per per bottle of 3,000 on, on the Draft Club website. Uh, they are on a bit of a sale at the moment, but they're normally 7.95, so I think they're, they're a pound cheaper. Um, <coughs> website will be in the description below. Um, so in terms of cost-wise, they are the cheapest of the uh, the three, but they're they're by far no means the uh, the worst performing, which I'll go into in a second. Um, in terms of uh, testing, what I did first was I used them in game. Obviously, using a, a, a new type of BB in game, unless it is massively flawed, um, and the, the rounds are constantly getting stuck in your barrel or anything like that, it's difficult to tell just how different their performance is. Um, but there was no obvious, obvious faults for the BBs from using them in game. From there, I measured them with a set of um, caliper thingies um, that I had to borrow off my dad. And um, there are uh, there is an important thing to note about this: um, the BBs. When I measured them, they came in uh, seventy percent. I measured. Uh, I done a hundred. I measured a hundred of them. Seventy came in at five point nine uh, three millimeters. 10% uh, came in at 5.92 millimeters, and 30%, uh, sorry, 20% came in at 5.94 millimeters. Now the calipers I use, they do have a, uh, a variation of uh, plus or minus 0 0.02 millimeters. Uh, they were the best I could get. My dad wouldn't let me borrow his really expensive ones, unfortunately. Um, so it is possible that that discrepancy, uh, those obviously being lower than what the the draft club bottles state uh, on there is that they have uh, the BBs are 5.95 millimeters plus or minus 0 0.01 uh, millimeter. Obviously, that so you've got a you've got a 0 0.03 millimeter bracket for the BBs, it, um, and the BBs I measured they all came in within that 0.3 millimeter bracket, but they were below. Uh, what what the bottle claims they are now that could have just been the calipers I used um, and unfortunately I've got no other way of testing that but they are they were consistent in those measurements uh, I decided to measure a load more and it came out about the same again FPS wise the FPS was matching my other BBs uh, more from more expensive brands um, so I'm inclined to believe that perhaps it was the calipers that, that dropped that FPS uh, sorry that dropped that measurement um, because there was no no sort of difference really in, in, in FPS dropping. Uh, the key thing is though that they weren't bigger than six millimeters, which is obviously a good thing. Um, I then soaked the BBs for, for, for the last three months they've been soaking. I measured them again and there was no increase in size. Um, I then performed a an impact test with those BBs that had obviously been soaking and again they performed exactly um, as you can see here. Now the from there I used normal BB straight out of the bottle as well as the um, the soaked BBs. I was concerned that perhaps maybe the soaked BBs um, had become softer or, or something. Um, but as you can see here, the top line of BBs are the Amoeba ones, the bottom of the Devil Blasters and the middle of the Draft. The Draft Club BBs, they only ever break into four or five maximum large pieces they never shatter completely uh, you can see the amoeba and the devil blasters they're shattering into tiny little pieces that's good for you guys running air mesh uh, sorry that's good for you guys running mesh goggles because those tiny little pieces can obviously get through the through the mesh but the draft club every time i did this test they, it always broke into a um a large piece but as you can see on the far right hand side there that the, the fifth one i did in this little the batch of testing the um the final bb didn't even didn't even break 
um, it, it split through, uh, but it was still attached to the final, final sort of tiny little piece. Uh, so in that sense, they're really good. They, they out, completely outperformed both the Amoeba and the Devil Blasters for uh, the impact testing, which is really, really good. Now, according to the Draft Club website, uh, that's because their, their BBs have a lot smaller air bubbles inside. Obviously, for those of you who don't know, the, the BBs, they're not always just a solid weight. They have to have a little bit of air inside them to get them through the different weights. Otherwise, it'd just be a solid long plastic and you'd know, you wouldn't be able to get any different size, uh, different weight BBs, I should say. Now, the Draft Club BBs, um, as you can see on the, it's hard to see because I haven't got a macro lens. I did have one, but it, um, it, it, it broke. Um, uh, well, it, it didn't work very well. Um, so the Draft Club BBs, they break into these large pieces and you can see on the inside of the broken pieces, it's still very smooth um, compared to the Devil Blasters and the Amoebas. Uh, the Devil Blasters and Amoebas, they're very pitted on the inside. Uh, it says to me that they've perhaps got a lot of larger air bubbles instead of, as per the Draft Club ones, lots and lots of tiny little air bubbles. That um, obviously helps the BB stay together when it impacts something. Um, and as you can see on the, on the still that I showed you there, the, the, the Draft Club massively outperforms them on the, uh, the impact test. Now in terms of um, consistency, what I did for this was I set up a target. Um, it was about 12, 15 meters away. Uh, and I fired uh, in batches of 50 rounds uh, multiple times at, a tar at the target. The gun was clamped down, the target was clamped down, so there was a minimal, well, no movement really from any of those. And I just fired a fire at the same pace, the same, the same uh, rate of fire. At the, uh, on the same day, uh, in the same temperatures, there was zero wind uh, to try and get the most accurate picture I could of the consistency of these BBs in, in, in terms of their actual flight path. Obviously there are variances with the hop and things like that, so it's not a massively scientific test. But what I did find were that the Amoeba Precision BBs, they obviously outperformed in terms of accuracy. They've generally got a, a tighter group with a few flyers. Uh, the average group in size for that was 12.26 millimeters, uh, centimeters, sorry. Uh, the Draft Club came in at 12.74 centimeters and the devil blasters which are more expensive than the draft club they came in at 16.6 uh, .6 centimeters now that was an that was their average group in size um, from uh, the, the picture i've got here which i'll show you again obviously that that, that shows uh, five lots of five i did a lot more um, I, uh, at one point i just put a hundred rounds into a target from each each manufacturer bb and every time i done this testing the draft club came out smack bang in the middle uh, in terms of their grouping size. So that is pretty good. Um, you know, th I was quite impressed by that as well. Um, so as you can see, th they are a good BB. So guys, to recap, um, Draft Club BB, six, pip six quid a bottle, outperforms the well-known Devil Blasters um, in every test that we did here, especially that consistency. Uh, they didn't shatter, they, they broke up into big chunks. They didn't swell. Obviously, the price is awesome for what you get uh, for a bottle of 3000. Um, definitely a BB that I highly recommend uh, if you want to get a lower price BB. Um, something I'm definitely going to consider. I normally use the Amoeba Precision BBs. Um, obviously, I get, the, I, I get my BBs through Just Cause, uh, but the Draft Club is definitely something I'm going to consider now. Um, so it, uh, if you want to get yourself some of these, I'll put a link in the description below. And um, as I said, highly recommend. You see from the testing there that, that, that they, they outperform the more well-known, more expensive brands. So um, they are a really, really great product. Um, and that's it for this week. Uh, if it's your first time to my channel, thanks for watching, firstly. Uh, secondly, if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. appreciate every single one of you guys that does that. And going forward, um, don't forget to keep an eye out for the Police and, and Crime app. 2017 if you're not too sure what that is i'll put a little link up uh, um, above my finger and you can click on that go back and and find out uh, what the police and crime act is that's if you're a uk player if you're outside of the uk and uh, northern ireland doesn't affect you at all so don't worry too much about it uh, but if you're a uk player uh, and you're unaware of the pca 2017 please uh, watch that video and um, 
uh, and just just make yourself aware of the potential changes that are coming in in regards to the law. Um, that's it. As I said. Uh, so as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.